Hello and welcome to another edition of Victor Alonge on Real Estate, your weekly real estate show that comes to you every Wednesday of the week. My name is Victor Alonge, your anchor. I want to thank you for being part of this program. I look forward to doing what we know how to do best on this program, which is bringing real estate to your doorstep again this week. I'll be back in a moment. Please don't go away. Welcome back. Um, this is still Victor Alonge on Real Estate. Uh, this week, uh, we will be looking at some of the feedbacks that we got from our last week's edition, um, talking about the importance of valuation to um, real estate measurement. Um, I want to thank those who actually sent in messages and even asked questions, um, you know, notably from not only Nigeria, but some from UK and even in the US. Um, this is the reason why this show is actually brought to you, so that we generate ideas and then we clear issues, you know, or things that may be hampering real estate progress in an economy. Uh, I think the questions actually and the views actually um, centers on, um, you know, how do the public identify who is um, actually a valuer, who should be valuing properties. And again, the reasons why um, a lot of professionals are juggling for um, you know, valuation um, mandate and so on and so forth. And I think this is just very simple. There are legal uh, enablements you know, regarding you know, uh, the profession of valuation and who should be uh, a valuer in the eyes of the law. Uh, and I think it is clear, um, uh, a valuer is an estate surveyor and valuer, you know, by virtue of the jurisdiction of this country. Um, the law is actually clear, um, establishing the uh, estate surveyors and valuers registration board of Nigeria. That is a body that is charged uh, with certifying who is actually competent to carry out valuation. And there is also an association uh, which actually prepares and, you know, mentors um, uh, will be valuers. And actually, uh, that is the Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers. So, um, if you want to engage a valuer, you must first of all ensure that such a person is, um, has been trained or has gone through the ranks within the Nigerian Institution of Estates of Wales and Valuers, um, have become a corporate member and then from there certified by um, or registered by the, uh, by the Estates of Wales and Valuers Registration Board of Nigeria. So those are the identifying you know, um, parameters for uh, who a valuer is. Uh, the other questions and opinions that um, I also received uh, center on why are there competing professional bodies, you know, um, uh, laying claims to valuation. I don't think there is, personally. Um, I think there is a misunderstanding. And I think the public also needs to uh, be much more um, guided and educated about uh, what valuation we're talking about. Valuation is a generic word. Uh, it could mean different things to different profession. But in the context of valuation uh, of properties, we are looking at market valuation. Uh, to an engineer, it could be engineering valuation, you know, when engineering work is actually in progress and uh, they want to, the client uh, wants to ascertain the level of uh, progress of work uh, in terms of making payment or, or so on and so on. And for projects generally, the quantity surveyors also carry out, um, you know, valuation and that is, uh, you know, interim valuation or final valuation of work in progress during construction. Those are to be distinguished from market valuation, which is actually placing the property within the market context which is actually going to utilize uh, the, uh, the knowledge and interplay of not just the technical aspect of 
uh, the asset, but also the market outlook. You know, what in terms of um, uh, uh, returns, in terms of investment income, can be generated from the asset if actually picked up by UB investors. So it is clear um, the valuation that we're talking about is the valuation of the finished product when it comes to the market, not the valuation of work in progress uh, during construction or development. So those are the, the distinguishing factors. And I think, um, you know, everybody, every one of us in the built environment, you know, uh, every one of us has a role to play in actually making sure that property uh, is not really disadvantaged when it comes to measurement and their contribution to uh, economic development. Uh, I will be talking more about this after this short break. Please don't go away. Welcome back from the short break. Uh, it's still Victor Alonga on real estate and the topic or uh, the focus of today is valuation and you know uh, what exactly is meant by valuation in the context of property contribution. We are not looking at valuation work in progress during construction. We're looking at valuation of the finished product within the market context where forces of demand and so on um, would, would then dictate, you know, uh, the evaluation. And actually, when you look at that sort of uh, valuation, you're not, like I said, you're not just looking at the, the technical composition, you know, of the, uh, you know, of the property. You are looking at the possible usage, you are looking at uh, the, uh, the forces of demand and supply, and you are looking at the, the you know, the, the, the financial response within the system you know to uh, uh, to pricing the asset it's about asset pricing and it's about market you know uh, uh, pricing of the asset so it is not purely technical and that was why last week I did say that this valuation we're talking about is not just um, a science you know it's not also just an art but it has become commercial you know when we were in um, when we were in school, when you know valuation was you know was being taught, um, I think the the uh, the understanding there was that it was both a science and an art. But the truth of the matter is, because of you know uh, the development within the the global economy, you know, and asset pricing, it has become also commercial, and you need you know, as a, a professional, somebody who has been trained in these various aspects, you know, uh, the scientific, the artistic, and then the, the commercial context, to be able to come up with valuation. Because valuation is sensitive, you know, it's, it underpins, you know, financial decisions. And I said earlier that um, most of the financial crisis that we have globally, you know, um, have been caused by asset mispricing, which is, in a way, valuation. And by the way, um, a, I have not seen any jurisdiction where um, asset pricing is actually taken with undue levity and then anybody, you know, uh, lay claims to it. It's not. And that's why I want to also credit, you know, our jurisdiction here, which is Nigeria, where we still have decency in the, the, the valuation you know, um, uh, aspect. Um, I, I'm not aware that any banks in this country uh, actually um, accept valuation from non-certified valuers. When I say non-certified valuers, I'm talking about valuers that are not registered by the Estates of Yours and Valuers Registration Board of Nigeria. And I also give credit to government. Most of the parastators and uh, government agencies, when you see expression of interest of valuation, you see the requirements and they are very clear there. And I think the private sector also know uh, that, um, you know, proper pricing of, uh, of their asset in terms of valuation is key and is a professional thing. So I don't think there should be any controversy, you know, uh, about who carries out valuation. The most important thing is that every professional within the built environment, uh, the built industry, you know, has its own role to contribute to making the, the 
industry stronger. And I don't think, you know, one profession uh, should be disadvantaged by the fact that so many people, uh, so many professions have an insight or understanding, little understanding of what they do. Of course, when we were all, you know, uh, trained uh, at the tertiary uh, education level, uh, we all, you know, study a bit of, you know, other courses, but that does not make us the expert in those, uh, in those areas. So, the question that I've been asked, and I think I have provided a useful answer, you know, uh, opinion, and I still expect that uh, if you are not satisfied, please still come back to us with, um, you know, more views, and we will be glad to, to actually um, uh, provide more insight and clarification. And the way we're going on this program, we may actually be bringing in some experts to actually clarify some of the issues you know, that we discuss on this platform. I will be back after this short break. Please don't go away. Welcome back. It's Steve Victor Alunge on Real Estate. I want to thank you for being part of this program this week, and I hope you've enjoyed every bit of it. I thank you particularly for all your comments and opinions. Please keep them coming in. Uh, contact details are given at the end of this program. Until I come your way next week with another edition, please continue to keep safe. Goodbye.